If tech experts are to be believed, artificial intelligence has the potential to transform the world. However, those same experts do not agree on what kind of effect that transformation will have on the average person. Some believe that humans will be much better off in the hands of advanced AI systems, while others think it will lead to our inevitable downfall. For tens of thousands of years, humans have reigned as our planet's only intelligent, self-aware species. But the rise of intelligent machines means that could change soon perhaps in our own lifetimes. There is a dark and threatening side to the AI story, and it is only now being discussed publicly. Physicist Stephen Hawking has said that the development of AI could spell the end of the human race. Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates says he does not understand why some people are not concerned that an artificial superintelligence by mid-century might save or destroy human civilization. Billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk fears that we are summoning the demon in our race to create an artificial superintelligence. What all of them agree on is that we may very very well approach a tripwire sometime in the next 30 years, where a powerful supercomputer finally replicates the human brain and mind, and crosses over nearly instantly into superintelligence. And then what happens next is anyone's guess. One can imagine such technology outsmarting financial markets, out-inventing human researchers, out-manipulating human leaders, and developing weapons we cannot even understand. Whereas the short-term impact of AI depends on who controls it, the long-term impact depends on whether it can be controlled at all. Alan Turing wondered, and began to believe, that there would be a time when machines could have an unlimited impact on humanity through a process that mimicked evolution. All kinds of exciting AI tools and applications are beginning to affect the economy in many ways. These shouldn't be overshadowed by the overhype on the hypothetical future point where you get AIs with the same general learning and planning abilities that humans have as well as super-intelligent machines. These two different contexts require attention. Today, the imminent threat is not from a super-intelligence, but the useful yet potentially dangerous applications for which AI is used presently. If we focus on what is possible today with AI, here are some of the potential negative impacts of artificial intelligence that we should consider and plan for. AI will change the workplace and the jobs that humans do. Some jobs will be lost to AI technology, so humans will need to embrace the change and find new activities that will provide them the social and mental benefits their job provided. AI-enabled terrorism. Artificial intelligence will change the way conflicts are fought from autonomous drones, robotic swarms, and remote and nano-robot attacks. In addition to being concerned with a nuclear arms race, we will need to monitor the global autonomous weapons race and prevent it from becoming out of control from human hands. So far, AI is still at risk for being biased by the humans that build it. If there's bias in the data sets that AI is trained from, that bias will affect AI action. In the wrong hands, AI can be used, as it was in the 2016 U.S. presidential election, for social manipulation and to amplify misinformation. AI surveillance. AI's face recognition capabilities give us conveniences, such as being able to unlock phones and gain access to buildings without keys. But it also launched what many civil liberties groups believe is alarming surveillance of the public. In China and other countries, the police and government are invading public privacy by using face recognition technology. AI's ability to monitor the global information systems from surveillance data, cameras, and mining social network communication has great potential for good and for bad. AI technology makes it very easy to create fake videos of real people. These can be used without an individual's permission to spread fake news, create porn in a person's likeness who actually is not acting in it, and to not only damage an individual's reputation, but livelihood. The technology is getting so good, the possibility for people to be duped by it is pretty high. The biggest threat is the longer-term problem introducing something radical that's super intelligent and failing to align it with human values and intentions. This is a big technical problem. We'd succeed at solving the capability problem before we succeed at solving the safety and alignment problem. In this century, scientists will create machines with intelligence that equal and then surpasses our own. But before we share the planet with super-intelligent machines, we must develop a science for understanding them. Otherwise, they'll take control. And no, this isn't science fiction. Scientists have already created machines that are better than humans at chess, navigation, data mining, search, theorem proving, and countless other tasks. Eventually, machines will be created that are better than humans sooner or later. At that point, they will be able to improve their own capabilities very quickly. These self-improving machines will pursue the goals they are created with, whether they be space exploration exploration, playing chess, or picking stocks. To succeed, they will seek and expend resources, be it energy or money. They will seek to avoid the failure modes, like being switched off or unplugged. In short, they will develop drives, including self-protection and resource acquisition, drives much like our own. They will not hesitate to beg, borrow, steal, and worse 
to get what they need. Right now, drones use AI to navigate very complicated landscapes in order to deliver bombs in battlefield conditions, but they're still piloted remotely by human beings. Should a stealth bomber be developed that can fly itself and then make decisions about where to drop bombs in battlefield conditions without human input, it could create a situation where AI takes over the control and not humans. Scientists believe we will hit this tripwire by 2045. Most of the researchers believe it is inevitable that we will hit it at some point in the 21st century. Many of them are fearful of what happens when we cross it. Much of what the public knows about the potential risks posed from AI applications comes either from science fiction movies such as The Terminator or from fears surrounding autonomous weapons with AI capabilities to target without human control. These are very real fears. The truth is that AI is poised to do significant, irreparable harm right now, not just at some point in the future through the creation of a non-human superintelligence that scientists have warned. AI combined with autonomous weapons could launch an era of indiscriminate killing, the likes of which civilization has never seen before. There have been two revolutions in warfare. With each revolution, humankind made a quantum leap in the ability to kill exponentially more people on the battlefield from a distance. We are on the cusp of the third revolution, engineered by AI. This one, though, may erase its inventor. For centuries, if you wanted to kill someone, you had to do it at close range. Gunpowder gave us the ability to fire projectiles at enemies from a distance, and changed the concept of war for good. Soldiers could kill their enemy without seeing the result at close range. Nuclear weapons created the second revolution in warfare. While few nuclear weapons have been put to use, their invention taught us that we could create very large weapons, launch them from an even greater distance, and kill many people on the battlefield all at once. War has not been the same since then. But it is the third revolution in warfare, autonomous weapons that can largely think for themselves and target enemies on the battlefield without human intervention that we should all be worried about. Once such weapons are created, there may be no turning back. Autonomous weapons are ideal for tasks such as assassinations, destabilizing nations, subduing populations, and selectively killing a particular ethnic group. Musk, Hawking, and others wrote in an open letter in July 2015, starting a military AI arms race is a bad idea and should be prevented by a ban on offensive autonomous weapons beyond meaningful human control. World leaders to date have ignored the scientists on the threats AI poses to our very existence. Much as they have either ignored them or moved slowly on other existential future threats like climate change or nuclear proliferation. But AI is different. Once a super intelligent, big data crunching AI machine learns how to think and learn for itself, it may decide that carbon life forms are the obvious target in any threat scenario. At that point, it will not care what world leaders think. Therefore, whether it is now or later the century, it's time we took AI seriously. Our lives most likely depend on it. As artificial intelligence increases in sophistication and capability, many positive advances are being made. But unfortunately, powerful new technology is always at the risk of being misused. These risks affect almost every facet of our daily lives, from privacy to political security to job automation. The first step in mitigating the risks of artificial intelligence will be to decide where we want AI to be used and where it should be discouraged. Increasing research and debate into AI systems and their uses is the first step to preventing them from being misused. Well, that's it from this video. What do you guys think of artificial intelligence? Could it end human existence forever? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section. Now it's time to hit like, subscribe to Tech Rumor, and also press the bell icon for more interesting videos. Bye-bye.